What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm your co-host Donovan Quick, and today we're gonna to be talking about a special player on the Miami Dolphins that a lot of you are forgetting about, and he's gonna be a key part to not only this preseason, but to this season. And yeah, that player is Nick Needham. Nick Needham is the guy. Nick Needham is the guy that you really need to watch out for. He can do literally anything in the defensive backfield from playing corner to playing in the slot to playing safety. He can do everything. Now, a lot of you absolutely loved him. Undrafted free agent back in 2019. Really showed up and showed out and made a name for himself back as an undrafted free agent rookie. Now, you know, he took the steps, became the best slot corner in the entire league by 2021. By 2022, he tore his Achilles midseason when he was playing in the boundary because Byron Jones was out. And in 2023, he came back midseason, but wasn't the same old explosive self. Now, in my key players to watch for the game last week in the preseason game against Atlanta, I told you guys Nick Needham was a guy to look out for, that he was going to get a lot of playing time, and he deservedly needs your eyes on him because he is that dude he has that dog in him and let me get let me get myself absolutely right right now nick needham is the third best corner on this team look i love cater kohu i do nick needham is better kendall fuller is not better than nick needham at this point in his career i i know nick kendall fuller is slotted in to be the starting corner boundary upside opposite side of ramsey but i'm gonna be honest i haven't really seen anything too glamorous from him i've seen catch-up speed from nick needham i've seen just the ability to stick on the wide receiver's hip from nick needham I've seen almost everything there is to see this offseason from Nick Needham, and he is that dude. He is back. I'm literally sitting there watching him, like, and they're not even targeting him. You want to know why? He's having a quiet game. You want to know why? Because he was not letting anyone open. No one was targeting him because no one was open. Now, look, I, I get it. It was against backups. Blah, 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 blah is what it is. With Cam Smith out in that preseason game, he played the, the starting boundary role opposite side of Ethan Bonner. And Ethan Bonner is competing with Cam Smith for that backup boundary role. A lot of y'all forgetting Nick Needham already kind of got that locked up. I know that the depth chart says that Nick Needham is the backup slot because look, that is his better position. He is better in the slot. But if you're telling me right now, if Ramsey or Kendall Fuller goes down, who do I want in there currently? Do I want Cam Smith, Ethan Bonner, Cater Kohu, or Nick Needham? I'm gonna tell you Nick Needham. I I don't think I I I don't think that there's anyone better placed to play that spot than Nick Needham. He is that dude. Look, he was targeted what two times on Friday night? What happened those two times? It was a comeback route that he read perfectly and smacked the ball out of last second, so it was an incompletion. And the next one, he almost picked it off. And guess what? He was always around the ball when when the play ended. He was always around it. And you can't really, like, yeah, you could teach it. But, like, when you're always in that pile and you're always just have that dog mentality of see the ball, get the ball, you can't really teach that. That has to come from within that hunger to just absolutely thrive and work ethic. And look, the Dolphins have proven that they value work ethic more than talent around here. And yeah, we have plenty of talent, but there's the instance of Tier Tart that we just released. And according to most reporters, especially Omar Kelly, he was probably our third best defensive tackle behind Zach Sealer and Calais Campbell. That makes him a starter in a 3-4 defense. So with him being there, probably better than Benito Jones and just getting released over work ethic. That's what it is. I know Mike McDaniel came out and said that it was a bad scheme fit. He didn't fit the scheme. I don't care. When you have a talent like that, that's not. That's just not what happens. He just didn't have the work ethic. He didn't want to come in and work hard every single day. And even Calais Campbell, who's been in the league for like 50 years, I'm exaggerating, of course, he said there's nothing like it down here in Miami where the work ethic is just so like 
so hard. He's like, we go 100 miles an hour for 30 plays rather than going half speed for 50 or half speed for 40. He's like, we go hard every single play so we can have, you know, plays off at the end, but also so we get more of that live repetition. And I absolutely love it. And Nick Needham is just an embodiment of that. He's an embodiment of it. He just goes out, works hard every single day, works on his craft, and he is as selfless as they can be. He could have easily said, nah, I want to I wanna be a corner. I'll go to Brian Flores over in Minnesota who, you know, picked me up out of the undrafted free agent pool and made me a starting corner in this league. And, you know, Minnesota's absolutely depleted of corners. But no, he stayed and competed and said look i'll do whatever you want me to do i'll be i'll play special teams i'll play safety i'll i'll do whatever you need me to do and him and elijah campbell are very selfless in that fact because elijah campbell can play play both corner and safety and he's a special teams ace and he's very good at both corner and safety and he could easily go somewhere else and probably just play corner just play safety but he's a special teams ace we need him Nick Needham, he's great everywhere you put him on the field. I can't really say the last time I saw Nick Needham get burned. Look, he didn't have an opportunity last year. He was coming off that injury. He didn't really have a lot of time. And let's face it, Vic Fangio just wasn't it. He played Eli Apple instead of Noah Igmanogany. He played or Eli Apple over Cam Smith. Like, the, just the incompetence of playing a guy that got there in the second preseason game and was just donkey cheeks the entire time he was uh, here versus a younger guy or a guy coming off an injury. Got to give these guys opportunities. And that's exactly what this coaching staff is all about is giving guys opportunities. Nick Needham is going to take advantage of his. He's going to be, by the end of the year, he's going to be a starter one way or another. I don't know if he's going to start at corner. I don't know if he's going to start in the slot, but he is our probably second or third best corner on this team. And I'm going to stick by that. I am because he's that dude. He's that dog. And it's not even a knock to the other guys. It's just how good Nick Needham really is. And y'all are forgetting y'all forgot. And look, I understand last year. He didn't look that good yet. Last year. He didn't play that much. And you know, that says what the coaching staff thinks. There's a reason Vic Fangio's not here right now. There's a reason we re-signed him. We re-signed Nick Needham for a reason. He could have gone off and been a starter somewhere else, gotten a clear backup role somewhere else. But, you know, according to you guys, he should be cut. What? No. Nick Needham is getting a spot on this team. He's certified spot on this team. They brought him back not to fight for a job because they know what he can do when he's fully healthy. They seen the tape. They know what he can do. Nick Needham last year, I get it. It brought down your expectations, but you got to remember that was a year off of an, uh, an Achilles injury. No one looks good coming off an Achilles injury. I get it. Everybody's excited for Jalen Phillips. I guarantee you they're going to call him washed after two games because in two games, he's not going to look like his old self. I expect that from him. I expected it last year from Nick Needham, and he came back mid-season. At least Phillips is back in the preseason. Nick Needham didn't come back until mid-season, so everybody's already in the full swing of things, and he's just started like he's just getting acclimated. Nick Needham, y'all need to remember, 2021, the best slot corner in the entire league. 2020, a top five slot corner in the entire league. He progressed. Undrafted free agent, 2019, top five slot corner top slot corner in the entire league 2022 byron jones gets hurt he switches to the boundary tears his achilles comes back mid-season 2023 does not have an opportunity to play 2024 we're back he's back back again like he never left he had that dog in him i'm telling y'all don't sleep on my boy nick needham don't sleep on him when he makes roster you're gonna see me in here with a 40 jersey throwback of course because it needs to be throwback but we're gonna be wearing that foetti jersey because nick needham is that dude nick needham is one of my favorite players on this team i don't care about the bias he is that mother freaking dude deuces y'all